Okay, so we've got Alex Severn here. Uh, he was at the UK National Championships this weekend, and you came... 90th. Yeah, with yeah. which deck? Sky Striker. Great. So, what was your record, Joan Swiss? Uh, finished X2-2. Right, How did you get on? What were you against? Uh, I went against um, five Orcus decks, a Lunalite deck, um, Evil Eye, um, one Striker Mirror, and something else that I can't remember. No Salamangrit? Oh, two Salamangrit, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what, what did you, what were your losses and draws to? Uh, I lost to um, August and the Salamangrit, um, I just bricked game two. And my draws were to a Hero August and August. All right. In games that I should have lost. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so why don't you show us uh, what you've got in your deck and how you managed to get such a good record. Yep. So we'll start off with the uh, the monsters. Um, we've got the three ray standard. Uh, and then the, for the hand traps, uh, I played two ash, uh, three ash and two ogre. Ogre was awful. Um, I sided that out almost every match. What would you swap it for? Um, I probably would swap it for um, just more consistency cards or maybe a Vela. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for the spells, um, standard three engage, best card in the deck. Uh, three Widow Anchor and three multi roll. Uh, I chose to play two Shark Cannon because it's just really good uh, against Salamangre and Orcus. Just Banish their stuff before they can use it. Um, and two jamming waves because it's it's also good against Orcus because you can hit the crescendos and hog blades. And against Salamangra you can hit the roars as well, which you usually know where they are. Um, two area zero. Um, one white drones. I'd love to play more, but I'm not allowed to. That pesky ban list. Yep. I'll get DQ'd if I do. Uh, one Eagle Booster. Um, maybe could have bumped this up to two in the cut of the Ogre. Um, I think it was fine at one. Uh, the one Afterburners. Um, one Hercules Base, because you have to play it now. Uh, that's it for the Striker cards. Um, then just for the general consistency cards, the, you've got the Rotor, also Fusion. Upstart and the two foolish goods, and obviously the two terraforming as well. Um, and then you have just have to play Mystic Mine. Um, I only played one because I'm not a scumbag, uh, and I didn't play Metaverse either. What was your deck profile like last week? Oh, pretty sure I remember seeing some Metaverses in there then. <laughs> Uh, I was a scumbag last week, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I also chose to uh, have two MST in the main. Um, they look disgusting. They are disgusting. Um, these just more hit back row decks, um, like in the striker mirrors. Um, didn't play any sub terror to hit these with, but they also hit the fog blades and the counter traps of Salamangra in August. Why are you playing MST over something like Twins or Cyclones, which you're seeing a lot more play? Because uh, the Twin Twisters are in the side, um, and uh, Cyclone wasn't the right choice for Nationals. It's only really better against Draco, which I wasn't expecting much. Okay. And then the three caught by the Grave. Um, it's just good against everything. Uh, especially the Orcus, you just hit all the cards, just banish all the shit. Same as Salman Great. Yeah. Extra deck now. Uh, extra deck. Uh, we have the three Shizuku and the three Hayate. And unfortunately, the one Kigari. Rip Kigari. Uh, and the one Kaina. Um, I did feel like uh, the second one uh, might have come up in a few games, um, but I was fine with the one. Um, the one heater, the one nightmare phoenix, one triple burst that I did not summon uh, in a single match, so I'd, I could probably drop that for the second kinda. And the Ningirsu that did work against the Lunar Light deck um, because Leo dances a 
word I would not like to pronounce on the channel. Um, and Bomber Dragon, Avramax, and Barrel Sword for the Link Force. How much do you go into those three? Um, I think I've summoned Barrel Sword once, but if you summon in Barrel Sword, you've won the game anyway. Yeah. Uh, I think I've summoned the Avramax uh, twice, um, and I didn't summon the Bomber Dragon at all, but there's times that I wanted to, but um, it was better to just leave the Striker cards. Right. Um, and for the side deck, uh, I have three impermanence. Um, I sided this in uh, a few times, uh, but not as much as some of the other cards, like the Twin Twisters, which I've mentioned earlier. The Shared Ride came in in the one striking mirror that I played. Um, and then DD Crows for the Orcus and Salaman group matchup as well. You just get rid of all the cards. And the Pankratops, which came in quite a lot of the time. And one Pankratops won me a whole match against Salaman Great. Hmm. We both bricked. And I summoned Pankratops and just beat him down with Pankratops until he scooped. So, what would you change about the deck? Um, as mentioned earlier, I really didn't like the Ghost Ogre. Um, I think that would be about it, really. Um, so deck solid? Yeah. yeah um, I, f I found that um, a lot of the time I was um, struggling to decide on what to take out uh, to side in. Um, but also I, made, I made do with it. Um, Siding out some of the stuff like Cup Start and uh, occasional terraforming and stuff. Alright, so do you think this is going to be the. pretty much apart from the Ogres, the list you'll be sticking with? Um, mm, yeah, pretty much. Um, I, I, I really like the, the two, sh two Shark Cannon and the Two Gamming Wave. Two Shark Cannon uh, does come up sometimes if you're looking for the uh, the lots of link materials to summon the boss or turn the game. Alright. Well, cheers. Hopefully, we'll see the same list or a similar list when your Euro Top video comes on. All right. Hopefully. Uh, and please comment below and remember to like and subscribe. Cheers. Thank you. Shh. Not a zombie channel.